up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. Today I got two very quick, just simple tips to share with you about 3D printing. Okay? The first one is, if you're going to do a filament change between, you know, black and white, which is what I got in there now, then uh, don't waste the filament. I don't know how most people do it, but I usually print out something like this because it turns out pretty fun. You've got a nice balance in there of the color change. Clear and uh, from black to clear looks nice. From from uh, from white to black, it's not bad. You can't really tell, but from black to white is like really bad. But these bounce just like a golf ball. Kids love these things. You can find this on Thingiverse. Just look it up. Golf ball. The second one is okay, and this is the like frustrating thing. This is annoying to me, and it really does drive me crazy. So I know a lot of you probably have the same scenario where either when the uh, the filament head here is priming, the extruder, when it's priming you get stuff stuck to it like this and it's hard to clean off. You can, you can kind of wipe this stuff off a little bit like this but it usually doesn't come off very well. I know I can't see it very well. See if I can zoom in any better. Oh, those lights make it hard to see. But anyway, I can't really shut them off either. But anyway, this stuff is covered, man. It's nasty. It's terrible. So the best way that I found out to get this off is just heat up your um, heat up your hot end. All right, and get you a piece of scrap plastic like this, and then melt. Push to your head, and some of you can't. You have to do it the other way. You can push the plastic into the print head. But basically melt it in there like that. Yeah. I usually go pretty far. Alright. Then, and in mine anyway, I can just turn it off. Boop. Okay. Turn it off. Now, here's the trick. Wait for it to cool all the way down. Let it get all the way down to natural temperature, ambient temperature. Okay. So I'm going to let mine sit there and when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so it's still cooling but I wanted to tell you something really quickly and that is that um, with this type of uh, with this type of jobby um, usually you can clean these things off many different ways but um, like a wire brush or a Dremel with a wire wheel on it or something but honestly um, this is the best way I found out and this is just by accident one of day one day one of the prints was stuck and it got all I actually printed it too tall it went all the way to the top and it maxed out right and the print head was stuck to it and it cooled down and when I pulled it off it just came off and I was like wow um, so I usually do this, I don't know, every once in a while because if this thing, if this thing starts to, um, get pretty bad, um, and it usually happens whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm, uh, starting a print and it kind of gets stuck on there, but when it gets bad, sometimes it makes better prints if you clean this thing off. So, this is how you do it. I know it's on black, so it's hard to see, but uh, I should have used white so you can see all the crap. But now, if I zoom in, ta da! All nice and clean. So that's the best way I found out how to do that. Sometimes you gotta do it twice, because the first time just isn't enough. Um, and the stuff on the side here is all my Kapton tape. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you how I do that because it was an it was something I found out by accident and I have no idea if anybody else is doing it that way but um, it seems to work really really well and that's all I got for you peace out have a good day God bless bye